Hello YouTubers, in this video I will be reviewing Sonoff TH16. This one is very similar to the Sonoff TH10, except the 16 allows you to have maximum load of 16 amps versus maximum load of 10 amps for the Sonoff TH10. I will post a link to that video if you want to see it, but in this one let's go ahead and review the 16. Open this up, that same looking box has a hole right here for the sensor. I have two different sensors. I have this DS18B20 sensor, which is just a regular temperature probe. It is waterproof. Um, it has this nice little 2.5 millimeter jack or connection that will go here. Okay, and I have this other sensor. It's a AM2301. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. The wire on this is about 18 inches long and the wire on this is about 39 inches long. So they come in different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller but, but this part is a little bit bigger. Okay, so first we'll use the this sensor, the humidity and temperature, and then we'll connect the other sensor to it. Okay, so this is the light bulb I will be connecting to this. Here's how you connect it. Here's the pairing button. There's the LED here for the Wi-Fi. Let me go ahead and unscrew this so we can see just the regular push-in connections. It feels really light. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's a different style of relay. This one's flat and, and a lot bigger compared to on off 10. Looks like it's a little bit beefier relay. And once again, there's a fuse in here. So if this doesn't work, make sure you check the fuse before you, you know, send it out or whatever you do with it. It's not marked over here, but I think this is where you would flash it. We have RXTX. It might be labeled on the other side. Let me go ahead and take these four screws out. And this is their newest model, I believe. On this red sticker, it says 2017. See a 2017? Okay, so this is the newest model of theirs. Maybe the older ones had a different style of relay. Okay, so let me keep these screws together. On the other side, we have these uh, beefy bus, bus terminals, bus lines going in. Here we have uh, neutral, these two. Uh, here's a line coming in. The two grounds and a line coming out. And then we have the ESP chip still. I'm pretty sure this here is for flashing it. But it's not labeled. Positive RXTX ground, I believe. So it should be just like uh, TH10. Okay, now let me put this back and we'll connect the power to this and we'll see how it works. And whenever I put the screws in, I always like to put them in diagonally. I like put one here, one there, one here, one there. Okay, I won't be putting a top on this so we can see all electronic. Okay, let's see. So this is the loadout. Just press this tab in, push the wire in. Then we have neutral over here. Okay, so that's the light bulb there. Now for the power, I have this old extension cord. I'm not extension cord, but, but an old, old power supply that I'll be using. Now this one has the earth. So I will hook up the earth over here. Here's the, oops, the earth came out. Let me do this black one first because it's important to have it in correctly. Okay, and neutral way on the other side. I should have wired them backwards. So two neutrals, voltage in, ground, and then voltage out, which is this here. Okay, kind of tug on them, make sure everything's good. And to triple check with the connections we have here, load out, two earths, load in, or input, and then two neutral, and we're good. Now I am gonna connect the power. Okay, power is connected, and this blue LED is flashing. And I'm gonna grab my phone, and we're gonna connect to the app. Okay, so it looks like I have some sort of devices already on. So I'm gonna hit new one. I'm gonna press and hold this button until the LED flashes. Okay. It's flashing. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now I'm going to hit next. And we're going to connect. Okay, now we're going to hook up this other sensor. Oops. 
and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so here it is. Now if it's higher than, let me change this, make this 25, make this 26. Okay, so if it's higher than 26, this LED will turn on. So right now it's showing it's 26. I'm going to hold it in my hands and we'll see if we can get it to turn on. Yep, 27 degrees, 28. So now, so if it's lower than 30, turn off. So as soon as it goes below 30, the light should turn off. See if we can trick it a little bit. Oops, sorry, my baby's crying in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. My wife's home though. She'll take care of it. Yep. And it went below 29 and it turned off. So that's how it works. And you can also swap these and have it to where it will turn off if it's higher than 36 and turn off if it's lower than 30. Or you can have it vice versa. How are you want to do it? There it is.